Hello everybody, and in this video we are going to go over our Windows. And I'm putting Windows because Windows only control software. PTZ control software. Ah, just finished software in there. Okay, so first of all, what is this control software that you're talking about? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I have it kind of open over here, but it's an advanced control software that allows for some really, really incredible PTZ functionality. Um, and it really adds great functionality for like Open Broadcaster, Wirecast, Vmix, any live streaming platform really. And uh, we have control for RS-232, the Visco. We can do an IP control. We can do USB control, so right over USB. And this preset visualizer is one of my favorite things I'm going to show off, but it allows you to take a picture of your space and really, really show it off. Um, so first of all, let's take a look at where you can find it on our website. Here's the control software here. Yes, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different options for this control software. Um, so let's just briefly get that out of the way. Um, and basically, of the, of the seven softwares, what you really need to figure out is whether you want Pro or Studio and which interface you want to use. So first of all, number one is the IP control, which is control over your network. And all you need to do is plug the camera into the Ethernet port on your network and you can have control. So that's like your number one option. And then I'm going to leave some space here for some notes that we can take. And then two, we will have, uh, basically we'll look at Visca control. And Visca control is over RS-232. And some space for notes. And then three is UVC. That's a USB cable. Super, super easy integration there. Okay, so those are our three options. Here they are. Um, the difference between Studio and Pro, you can see there's a lot of different pricing here. You can have more user profiles. So if you have multiple operators who want to have different user profiles, we have uh, that ability. We can do external camera presets. We can increase the number of the uh, visual lets, which are the actual visual pictures of each preset. And other than that, those are the main kind of things between Studio and Pro. So right here, I have um, my controller. So this is my IP controller here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, input and I'm going to I'm going to put um, this onto it so that you can so we can all see myself. And I'm going to put it right here. So this way you'll be able to see the controller right there and the camera as I'm using it. So you can see here I can very very easily zoom in and out. Of course I don't, my green screen only works for so far. But I can zoom in and out here. Um, I can pan, tilt, and zoom with this. Right? So very easy PTZ. You can also plug in a... Uh, USB joystick, so like a gaming joystick or any USB joystick, and we can change it. See this USB joy button here? If we click that, we can use a USB joystick. We can also do a PTZ pad, which I like a little easier than the joy, maybe via a mouse. And then these hotkeys actually turn your keyboard into a control surface. So there's so much you can do with this with this software, um, and there's obviously three different ways you can control it via IP, Visca, or UVC. Now down here are the presets. So let's set a preset. So let's say main shot and set. And then we go to two and it looks like there was already a preset save there, but we'll call this, uh, let's zoom out. We'll do a fully zoomed out for number two. And the thing I really like about it is you can have names there. So that allows you to, you know, if someone's new, you go, oh, main shot, I know what that is. Oh, okay, Fu you know, fully zoomed out. Um, these are the IP cameras down here. So you can have, you, I have this set to the IP address of this camera, but you can have six cameras on your network attached here. And um, 
you know, it's really, really nice to be able to control that many cameras. You can have up to actually uh, six with the IP. And um, you can have brightness control, stuff like that. And then here is the visual pad. And I'm gonna have to remove my, my video from this for a second here. But see, this, this is the visual pad. And what this allows you to do is to take a picture of the room, and I would have to take a snapshot which I guess I'll just do really quickly. Take a snapshot of this room and just call it snap. And basically on my desktop, just search for snap. There it is. And now I've got this picture. And so if I put preset one there and preset two here, I just double click and then that's where the camera will go. Right? And you can even have pictures there as well. So it's a cool way to be able to do camera control. Um, very, very simple. That picture is not live. So the video is getting a little tricky, but I can do it. Here's the video next to it. So if I click two, the live video goes there. If I click one, the live video goes there. So you can set up a visual layout. That's my favorite feature here. The final thing I wanted to show was this here. So basically, if you hit that cog there, you can set up an external IP address. So let's just take a moment to talk about that, and then we will finish this up. So with the external IP, so IP control over your network, uh, we've got the studio and the professional, that's the same for each of these. But basically, and same for all of these, studio and pro, you can take a look at them. Pricing starts at $299 overall, so $299 to $549 is roughly the pricing. And um, the external IP address, so if this is your local area network, this is where the cameras are, this is where your PC running the software is. If you want to go to the external IP address, like in the wide area network, we can set it up to have an external IP and pass this to, I'm just gonna write Hong Kong, but you get it, anywhere in the world, you can now control the cameras through this software. So that's the remote control capabilities. Thank you so much for watching this video. We have more videos in depth on this, but that is our second way of controlling cameras remotely with the control software. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.